Okay, guys and gals, um, mark down your calendars. It's actually April the 1st. Let me go over this. Here's what we're going to be going over. April the 1st at 5 p.m., we're going to be getting, um, uh, going over the software, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the backtesting software for the system. And uh, this is software we're going to be getting out to you. Um, Gerald's going to get uh, uh, this setting uh, for, um, uh, I'm going to give you one time frame that's um, a universal time frame for all markets. And these are the trades here this morning. It's uh, actually with the parameters that I put in. Um, I'll show you what we're doing here. It's actually long the market right now. It's got a runner running right now. It got long, what, a 17? And it's up to, what, 41 here. So it had two longs. One got break even plus one. What I have built in the software, and I'm going to go over all this in detail. Um, I'm going to go over all this in detail for you as we, um, on April the 1st. But just to break it down, what to anticipate, uh, the, the conference call, like I said, is uh, mark it on, down your calendars, April 1st at 5 p.m. April 1st, 5 p.m. That will be the conference call on going over this software we're getting out to you. You can back test any market you want. I'm going to show you the parameters, what I have built in briefly with this video so you can anticipate what we're going to be going over. But um, just a few things. Uh, what I'm sending out to you is without any bells and whistles um, added to it. Uh, this is does not have the speed bar. These entries right here do not have the speed bars checked in. It doesn't have the trend box checked in. This is standard retracement trading that I've done. Uh, that uh, ever since we opened the room. So what I programmed is standard retracement trading with trend. This is actually with trend. You can go without trend and, and see trades without trend also. But if you notice here this morning, this chart since midnight has taken only trades with my overall concept of a retracement trading um, with full retracements. So as he moved along this morning, it's at one, It'll, it'll do a break even plus one. If it gets long and it comes back down to break even plus one, it'll get back out. But then it'll hold a runner with the trail. So these are the ones that it's taken this morning so far. And you can add a different trail if you want. These are the different setups since midnight. This one caught a real nice long one here around 3.45 this morning. Um, the stops. Um, our pre-programmed stops. I have a 15 tick hard stop. This is a five sim Renko. Five sim here this morning. Um, but you notice it's always with trend. These are just retracement trading with trend on all these setups. So as we come into this morning, here's the last. We've got a nice big one here around 5.30 this morning again. Long 70 all the way up to almost the whole number. And then we had a break even, uh, first target break even, and now we're here in this long right now. So, you know, these are the trades. It's actually with the parameters I'm giving out to you with this chart. This will be a five sim rank I'm sending out to you. I'm not going to send you a bunch of time frames out. I'm going to send you one time frame out. I'm going to send you a five sim rank with these settings. And then you can adjust anything you want to adjust. I don't care if you want to trade a longer term chart, shorter term chart. It doesn't matter. What I have under the parameters is this stone. I'll go over this with you. Get this out of the way. All right, so if you noticed, I have the trend filter on those trade setups I just showed you. I have the trend filter built in. Now, you don't have to use the moving averages that, that I put in. Like I said, you don't have to use any of these parameters that I put in. I just give you a suggestion to get you started in the right direction. So you want to use different moving averages that you like better than the 20 and 50, that's fine. If you want to take all trades on retracement trading, the software I have coming out to you is with my methodology. I like to buy and sell retracements. I mean, that's my whole method since we opened the room a long, long time ago. That is what I like to do. I like to buy retracements in the sweet spot. The software is geared towards buying and selling retracements in the sweet spot all by itself. That's without trend box, without speed bars, without anything. It is designed on all those trades you saw this morning, which I'll show you again, it's designed to get you in the sweet spot in the market on a retracement. 
Now, if you want to go without trend, you just uncheck that and you take every single sweet spot retracement with or without trend. The ones I showed you today are with the 20 and 50 moving average. I do have use cross. If you want to only take first cross trades, when it's 20 and 50 cross, it'll take the first retracement. You can check that. I have it unchecked. I'm putting everything pretty basic to you. Um, we have do have a stochastic in there for you. Um, I have it on 8, 99, and 1. I want to look for extreme exhaustion and extreme uh, exhaustion and extreme um, on buys and sells. Uh, um, I do have another one where you can enable this where you can actually look for nine Simrinko trades, but you can actually look for trades off of a smaller Rinko. So you can go to a Rinko bar, say a nine sets up above 90 or below 10 with trend, and I want to look for entries off the five on the first retracement. And you can put any link that you want. You can do that. I have it unchecked. All these trades I ran this morning is just a basic retracement. You can add that in. Um, I do have the momentum trade, what that means. Um, if any trade is going to happen, it has to be above or below that moving average. You can check that. So if you want, let's say you want to put an 8 in there or a 20, you can put it in there, and it's only going to get momentum trades. That's for you. Um, this is what I have at trading, uh, 1.30 in the morning to – uh, 430 at night you can change that to whatever you want to change it to uh, if you want to add the trend box filter like I said these trades I'm showing you this morning of all these setups it's without any really filters it's just my basic retrading set a uh, setup um, but you can check your trend box and add the trend box in to even qualify the trade even more so if you want less trades this morning you can put a four trend box in there it'll give you less setups um, the parameters I do have a target one uh, for you a target two I do have a trail stop uh, after the target ones hit it will go break even plus one I'll show you how that works here in a second when I turn this thing on two ticks above the swing high put two and uh, that will stop you out if the trade goes in the opposite direction below or above the swing high I have two entry techniques. I have uh, a limit orders uh, to get uh, great fills, and then I have a uh, best available price. You can use the entry offset. This morning, I have it set to only limit orders. What it'll do when there's a retracement, it will put an open limit order. If it goes past three bars past my limit order, the trade will totally cancel out. I put that in on order cancel bars because I don't want to have an open limit order for more than three bars. If it's not going to fill me, if it's a fast market, I don't want to chase the market. So that's what that means. A profit goal, you can put a profit goal in if you want to put 500 as your profit goal for the day. Um, the, the system will stop, stop trading. 500. And if you want to do 500 here, you know, equal profit loss, daily stop, um, whatever you want to put in there. Um, the delta, you can check the delta. What this means is that it's going to start trailing the delta for you after you enter the setup. So if you trade off of a time frame trail, I have that built in for you. We'll go over that. Um, the best available price, instead of using a limit order up here, your limit, where is it at? Uh, right there. Instead of using the entry offset ticks, that's the limit order, um, you can actually uh, you can use a best available price. That's buy the bid or sell the or sell the bid, buy the offer. Um, you can check speed bars. If you only want trades that have, let's say, less than, we know the speed bars are less than four bars, create major speed in the market like it's doing on crude oil right now. See, this is a crude trade. It, so the, 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 the trade on crude is right here. This is a setup right here on crude. If you said two bars or less, it would go long right here at this level at 18, 822 if you add that in because that is a buy setup on my speed bar. It's less than two candles closed inside this trend box. There you go. I did add another stop tick. What I found is um, I necessarily don't like to have, uh, have my stop offset on the swing high and swing low. I found I like a lot of markets just putting a hard stop in. So on this 5 sim Renko, a 15 tick stop has sufficed for me on any 5 sim Renko trades. I find it very effective. Even 13 to 15 ticks, you don't need to go more than that. You're risking 150 bucks per trade, $130 per trade. That's all you really need to do trying to get these 
four, five, six thousand dollar trades. So you, you don't need to risk more than a, a, a 15 ticks on a five Simrinko. So when I had this stop off set on the ticks, it would give me more than that sometimes right here on the stop off set ticks on the swing high. So if you want a little bit more cushion, you can do swing stop off set ticks. If you click this stop right here, and I'll go over this on the conference call. If you click this stop here, you un, un, if you uncheck it, it's going to get you out at the swing high or swing low about two ticks above the swing high, one tick, three ticks, whatever you program in. If you check it, it overrides the stop off ticks and it gives you a hard stop. So a lot of you guys just want hard stops and that's it. So if you have hard stops, you can put your hard stop in, it's going to stop, it's going to place your order, an open order to stop you out if the trade doesn't work out. So that's the basics of it right there. So let's just uncheck this stuff. So if, if I, I just have the trend filter built in here, I don't have any speed bars or any trend boxes checked. On this one, I have an eight tick first target, 64 second target, 24 tick trail on the setup. So if I go in here and I enable the program right there, if I enable the program, Wait a second, make sure. It's already hit its $500 target, so let, let me put this out further because it, it's going to stop trading if you don't put your target long enough. There you go. So these are the trades that it's taken so far this morning. It's got a runner going right now. See, it's got a runner. It hit the eight tick target, but I see it kept running because it won't break you out, get you back out until you break even plus one. So it's trying to run for that whole 64 tick target right now that it went long at 8, 8, 8 15 this morning. So right now it got long 33.17 on a one tick above this close, and right now we're at 33.65. This, what I'm getting out to you is the basics is that on all these setups this morning, are your basic retracement trading without any filter at all, without any trend boxes. These are just basic retrading tra retracements. Now, what you can do with the, like I said, with the, what you can do with the filters is you can filter this out and try to customize your own way to do it. So we'll go over that. So mark down April the 2nd. I'm sorry, April the 1st, not the 2nd. April the 1st at 5 p.m., we will go over this software at that uh, at that point in time. So April the 1st at 5 p.m. Everybody mark that down. April the 1st at 5 p.m.